Terry from Piazza Bonas in York Springs, Pennsylvania. We also have a store in Maryland called All Good Garden Supply. Um, today we're going to be talking about planning into your hydroponic system. And we've got a couple different systems here. This is our ebb and flow. Talked about that in one of our last videos. And this is a bubble bucket, which that was the first video we ever did. And um, pretty much we want to get things ready. So with the ebb and flow, I've flooded the whole system to the highest it's ever going to get. And my point of that is when you plant your plant into it, you can't have your plant up here. You need to have your whatever you're starting in touching the water. So that's going to be down here. And therefore, I don't have to fill the entire thing up with the clay rocks. Um, these are the clay rocks here that we're going to be using. They come in a lot of different brands. Um, so I don't want to just go fill all these inner buckets up with that to the rim because we're not going to be able to fill it up that high right away until the plants get tall enough, then we can kind of fill it back in. Um, this is the bubble bucket. With the bubble bucket, you want to make sure that your rocks are at least going to be past the net portion so that light doesn't get in those little holes. And you can only, you want, you, you want your starter plug in that, which we're going to, let's see. We're using our root rye. We're going to plant our root rye right into that. So, We want the water level to at least touch the bottom of whatever you're starting on these. So I'm gonna have to bury that down here a little bit and then put that in, which we're gonna do that in a little while. Um, but I just wanna show you that. And then later when the plant gets big enough, we can cover the whole thing up with the rocks and top it off. Um, before you start your rocks, you just don't wanna throw them in there out of the bag. They are dusty from being shipped all over the place. No matter what brand you get, they're gonna have dust. So you're gonna wanna wash them. Um, in previous videos, I've taken this out, put in a utility sink, and cleaned them up as one bucket. I don't recommend putting five bags of clay rocks in your sink because the dust can clog up the pipes. So we literally, I recommend for something this big, taking it outside, get the garden hose out, do it that way, um, and I will meet you out there. All right, so we're outside. Any of the dust that comes off these can wash away into the yard and not hurt your pipes. Um, like I said, we just saved like a whole bag of rocks by not filling these to the very top. You weren't gonna be able to fill it up that high off the get-go. Um, this is the end of one of my bags, so you can see the little dust on my hands. You just wanna get that out of there because that can clog up your system and it could turn into cement pretty much on things. I right, gotta fill up my last bucket here. I'm gonna have some left over, but later on I'll probably end up topping these off. It's always good to have some extra rocks around. These are reusable pretty much forever. So once you buy, once you invest these, it's not like you're buying soil, you can reuse these things over and over and over. I've used them like 10 times before. You get little parts chipped off. When you're done your grow, you can um, shake off your roots, collect the rocks that are left. And I prefer, I have a whole second set of rocks usually. I just let them sit, and a couple months later, those roots will just kind of fall right off, right apart and die. Um, you're gonna reuse your rocks right away when your next grow, try to use an enzyme product that will break down any dead root matter in them. I do not recommend using bleach to try to clean these. Um, enzymes really are the best friendliest thing for the plant, so I actually dissolve the roots and turn them into food. So I'm gonna hose these down until I stop seeing brown stuff coming out the bottom. And we're going to start that now. All right, um, hope you enjoyed me watch, watching my balls out here, but uh. I was going to set this up on a few pallets when I first started to not kill my back clearly, but uh, yeah, it's not easy to do. There's other ways you can do this. You can figure something out, some screens or something, but my main point was to do it outside and pretty much you want your buckets to look nice and clear like that. That's when you know they're ready. And you only have to do this really once. Um, once the dust is gone, the next time you reuse this, you're not going to have the dust in there. So. Yeah, we're about ready to go. Meet me inside. 
All right, so we got, we're back inside. We got our rocks here. Um, that took about a good 20 minutes to get those ready. I know you guys saw it fast forward. I don't want to bore you that much, but um, everything's in here. This, this is the blocks when we planted in this, these, the 14 of the Evan flow system. And you want to definitely, I'm going to be cutting off my paper. This will allow the roots to come out the sides and grow into the rocks that way. If I was on a flood table, I would just leave this on. And we do have a flood table video. You should watch that if you haven't, if you don't know what flood tables are. And I'm going to try to bury this down about at least a third of the way, if not half the way down. You don't want your water level over top of this block because you can have dampening off where the stem gets a fungus on it and actually makes a weak stem and they'll, you know, fall over. So, got my water level down here. I'm going to kind of work them in a little bit. So that's about how deep I'm going to have these. And then my next bucket's got too much in it. So my next bucket, I'm just going to take some of that and kind of fill around the outside. Once these plants get tall enough, I'm going to top them off to the very top. But for now, this is what I want, where I want them to be. You can get a little bit of green algae on top of your blocks. That's really not a big deal. It happens with rock wool. You can do self covers for the blocks if you're worried about it. And as for the bubble bucket, we're going to be doing a tomato plant in there. Um, this guy's been in my bedroom a little bit too long. It's been a little bit abused. But same with your, with any of your starters. You want the water to touch this. Because if it's floating above the water, those rocks, are, the clay rocks are not going to wick up enough to keep it moist. So we're going to dig down in here a little bit. Until we hit the water level. And then I'm going to try to go about halfway up there without tearing too many roots up. And then I'm going to fill around. Once this thing anchors in good, I probably will cover up the top of it with rocks, with the clay rocks. But yeah, we get these questions in our store all the time about how do you plant and stuff like that. And we'll be glad to answer any questions if you come in. And once again, I'm Gary from Casual Barnes, York Springs, Pennsylvania. We have a store in Maryland called All Good Garden Supply. Make sure you follow us down here and check back with us for more videos. Have a good day.